SCW Productions in the house. That's my name. Or whatever. Anyways. So, what we got today for you is a little box. Roulette challenge. So, basically, if you're unfamiliar with this challenge... Could you please shut up, Takio? If you're unfamiliar with this challenge, it is... Essentially, you hit the box every single round you can, obviously. And then you take whatever you can get. Or whatever you do get. And you have to use it. No matter... What? <sighs> it sounded like a really fun challenge idea to do. I just felt like doing it because there's a lot of stuff I want to do on zombies. Let me... Nice reload, dumbass. Let me tell you what. There's a lot of stuff I want to do, but I, I have a lot of struggles and difficulties in my personal life sometimes that don't allow me... Nice reload, dumbass. That don't allow me to be as productive as I want to be, which really sucks. It also sucks why I can't reload my gun ever. What's up with that? Let me try and reload again. That's how it worked. Hold on. Try again. That's really weird. But anyways, yeah, I have a lot of struggles in my real life. I'm not going to go into detail about it because I don't think it's really relevant to this video. But we'll just say I have a lot of mental health struggles and emotional difficulties that do require professional attention sometimes. So, yeah, it can kind of be difficult for me to be productive sometimes. Like, where I can't like, get up my bed or I'm just not in a really good headspace to be recording or making videos. Which is kind of a shame, because I really do love making videos. I mean, it's fun as hell to do it. Get the hell out of here. Okay, dude. Look. That would have pissed me off. I really do love making videos, and I want to make more. Because I have a lot of crazy ideas that I'd love to do. But, anyways. we got to go find the box. What if we're close enough to actually use it yet? Get the hell out of here. Clown. Dude. Alright, I don't know what's going on. Where is the box? Over there, right? Oh, the handbag for 12? Not too shabby. I want to mention, I'm not going to buy Quick Revive because I feel like that's just too like too overpowered. Like, I don't want to be playing this around 50, so I'm not going to use any Quick Revives. I'm going to use Jug, Double Tap, Speed Cola, and whatever that perk is over there. Whatever that perk is over there. Well, if we can get Monkey Bombs, we're not be able to get monkeys. Boom, bitch. I forgot how awesome Black Ops 3 looked. I haven't played in a long time, but this game looks fantastic. I mean, it looks fantastic right now. At this juncture. Look at this game. I mean, look at it. I mean, it looks absolutely incredible. Alright, and then... For Gobblegums, I'm using these ones right here. Uh, in plain sight... Armamental, Danger Closest, Lucky Crit, and then anywhere but here. Let's actually do this. Argoose. You know, it's kind of lucky that we got this gun actually on the dog ground, because the Argus is one of the worst guns in the game for sure, so it's nice to use on the doggies. I do love the gobble gun mechanic in Black Ops 3, obviously. That's one of the selling points of this entire game. So, I figured that we would use some because, I mean, why the hell not? And then, I figured that I would use ones that aren't, like... They're not, like, just completely horrible, like, whimsicals or, like, trolls. But they're, like, ones that could actually be useful for the challenge. So, Danger Closest could be good if we get, like, explosives, like the XM-53. Lucky Crit could be good to trigger, like, pack punch upgrades once we start pack punching guns. Which would be helpful. And then... In plain sight, obviously, is just a classic, and then the anywhere but here is kind of like the get out of get out of free jail card, and then armamental, which we got right now, is nice for like weapon swapping and drinking perks and like using grenades faster, which is a pretty like lackluster gobble gum, but like whatever, I figured I'd just put it on. I don't know what else to put on. See, look how fast we can throw these grenades. Look at that. Look at that. That's OP. But yeah, I think these are really cool gobble gums. I do have a lot of ideas for uh, COD Zombies videos that I want to start making. Just crazy ideas. Things that have, like, never been done before. Obviously, I want to do, like, a lot of the classics. Oh, whoops. I just took that when I shouldn't have. I was trying to prepare for the next round. Oh. What do I do now? Uh, I'll just knife this guy because that you, I can still do that normally. Whoops. I, I was kind of getting ahead of myself. I wasn't like, thinking about the game. hell out of here, son. 
So that counts. I didn't cheat. I just forgot that I didn't actually finish the round yet. Anyways, we're gonna find you get log. I'm gonna buy the Bowie knife and I'll be able to use that if I want to. Just for some melee damage if we need it. But like I was mentioning, I have some crazy ideas for videos. Beyond like the classics, you know, like all that's pack a punch or like, you know, stuff you've seen before. I wanna do all of it. I really wanna play old school cards like Black Ops, um, well, Black Ops or Black Ops 1. And then obviously I wanna do World at War. Black Ops 2 as well. Some of the older games, I think those are really, really fun. I think those lend themselves better to doing challenges in the newer games because the newer games are so much easier and or have mechanics built into the game that make it not as like inconsistent you know what i mean like on cold war for example doing like all guns pack a punch wouldn't really be very much fun i don't think i'm not saying i wouldn't do it but i don't think it'd be as cool as like you know black ops or black ops 2 or world at war which is really fun but some of the ideas that I have for videos, I want this is like my most favoriteest idea or like the coolest thing I think I uh, came up with is um, I love running more than anything in the world, right? Running is like my favorite thing ever. It's absolutely biblical. I'm not going to go into detail as to why I love it so much and what it means to me because it's a very long explanation, but I'll just say that it's a profoundly beautiful experience. So what I want to do is I want to do, this would be the video title, round 100. But every 10 rounds, I run a mile, right? Which would be insane. And obviously, I want to be able to film all that and prove I'm actually doing it, right? So I'd have to get, like, maybe a, a GoPro-esque camera, like, strap that on my head or something like that. And I'd use my distance tracker app to prove that, like, I, I ran it. And it's, all, it's all legit, not faked or anything like that. And obviously, for my ability level, running a mile is not, you know, difficult for me. I mean, that's simple. Just, just running a mile with like no time constraints, a single mile, that isn't, you know, that really doesn't mean anything to me. So what I thought I would do to make the challenge even more difficult or more taxing, right? More entertaining, more enjoyable, is uh, the first mile starts off at 7 minutes and 30 seconds. That's the, the cutoff time, which that's really, really easy for me. I'd actually have to try and actively make myself run slower to run a 7.30 mile. So it starts off at 7.30, right? And then the next mile is uh, 7.20, and it keeps decreasing by 10 seconds. So every single subsequent mile that I have to run uh, has to be 10 seconds faster. So by the time we get to the 10th mile, the 10th mile will need to be done in 6 minutes or faster, which that is a pretty impressive time. I don't care who you are. 6 minute mile, that's actually pretty damn good. I can do it, but it'll be uh, intense, right? Also, you have to factor in, should I be able to use death machines? I mean, it is a drop, so why not? Anyways, though, uh, you have to factor in that I have to keep running these miles consecutively throughout the entire day. Plus, I have to come back on and play 10 rounds of zombies as well. So it's going to be extremely difficult to go, you know, a 7.30, 7.20, 7.10, 7 minute, all the way down to 6 minutes, right? It's going to get very difficult. And I think it'd be a really, really cool video. I think it'd be a lot of fun. I'm really excited to do that. I really want to do it. Also, I want to mention another video I think would be really awesome would be uh, Buried, but I drink with Leroy. So every time I give Leroy like alcohol on Argus again, that's actually probably one of the best times to get it. But anyways, every time I give Leroy alcohol in Buried, then I also take a drink of alcohol too. <laughs> That'd be a really funny idea. And then I had some more ideas. I kind of forgot. I'm kind of struggling to think on hand. But I have other fun, stupid ideas like that. I think it'd be hilarious. Rag on it, nice, baby. Obviously, I have all the classics that I want to do. You know, like all guns pack a punch. And I also had the idea where I can do all weapons pack a punch in one video. Like every weapon in Treyarch Zombies. Like how crazy would that be? That'd be insane. Every single weapon. So we're talking map exclusive weapons. You know, we're talking wonder weapons that can be pack a punch. Literally, like, everything. So I have to play, like, specific maps, you know? It'd be crazy. Like, for example, Nuketown Zombies is the only map in Black Ops 2 that has the M27 assault rifle. So I'd have to play Nuketown just for that weapon, right? How cool would that video be? I want to make all these videos. It'd be so much fun. But I just, like, again, I have a lot of my own struggles that prevent me from being able to be productive. What? What? I just absorbed a ray gun around 10? Hold on. Is that actually legit? Maybe not. I don't know. 
But like I said, I have a lot of difficulties sometimes in life that I am trying to better, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm trying to better these problems because I really want to be more productive and I want to make more videos. These guys are surviving ray guns on round 10? Man, ray gun sucks in this game. Let's see what we can get here. Danger close, I'm gonna take that. Gotta get a new gun here before they spawn in. The Pharaoh, this isn't really ideal, but <laughs> we gotta get pack a bunch up and running. That'll make a lot of these guns uh, a lot more usable. Let's see if we get a good power up here. A contact? Really? Come on, man. I need something nicer than that. Some garbage at. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh my god, round 11? Jeez. Ridiculous how hard this is. I'm gonna grab that. I can end the round, damn it. Oh, we're probably gonna get a teddy bear. This is really bad. I don't wanna be stuck running around trying to get to the box. Come on, come on. This is really gonna be bad. If it's a teddy, this is really gonna suck ass. Yep. Alright, this is really rough. So what we're gonna do is... Probably just wait here for a bit. Damn, I actually don't know what to do. I can't use this gun because I'm not allowed to use it right now. I gotta get a new weapon. If only I had in plain sight right now, that'd actually be really helpful. Come on, bro. We need this to spawn in here quick, man. Alright, it's over there. Oh, God. I'm gonna say we can use traps because if I didn't put that on, I'm probably gonna get killed. Come on, something good. Vimp? VMP? That ain't bad. I'm gonna sit right here camp. I used to camp here sometimes. It's kind of a weird spot. If you keep that door shut, or that debris, that debris, that debris shut, you can sit here and camp. It's not like that good, but it's kind of fun. Oh, come on, bro. Oh, the dog's nice. That's perfect. Look at that ZA. Zombie ass. We gotta get something good next round, like an LMG or something that we can really, like, amass points with. And that we can also survive the round with. Come on, bro. Come on. Come on, buddy. Alright, if we get the XL, I'm gonna keep this gobble gum. Alright, the dredge. Not bad. That's a really good weapon. What we get here? Lucky crit. That's worthless right now. This juncture. Hold up. Wait a minute. What? 1250? I thought it was 750. They just like increased the price of that when I wasn't looking or what? What the hell time is it? Uh, I don't know. I can't read. I'll just throw these grenades out because I really don't get... This guy's got no head. I do kind of have to be somewhat careful. This gun's reload is a little bit slow. Try to get collaterals here. Got six round burst weapon. Six round burst weapon. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I need that. Give me that. Sounds like a chainsaw or something. Or like an engine. What the hell? What was that? This gun sounds cool, though. <laughs> See what we can get here. The carpenter actually is going to help keep him out for a little bit. The locust? That ain't really what we're looking for right now. Give me in plain sight. That'd be really helpful. Oh, anywhere but here? That's not bad. I'll take that. I'm actually just going to open this up. I'm going to buy these two. Speed Cola. No, we don't need meal kick. We don't need quick revive, so we might as well just get the um, whatever the extra perk is. Once we get the monkey bombs, oh, I actually have to stay close to the mystery box, don't I? Hmm. Yeah, I do. Okay, let's actually go back over there. Oh sh! Didn't expect that. The 
problem with this map is that it's actually really hard to run around it normally, because obviously Black Ops 3 mechanics are built with a shield in mind, so not having a shield is actually very difficult. Oh, that was nice. I don't know how that grenade got over there, but... Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna end the round, bro. I want to save some points. Nice, nice. Come on, baby. The dingo lingo. Oh, yeah. Now, this is a top tier weapon right now, this juncture. A money drop? Is that a really rare power up? I don't think I've really seen that one very often. How much do I get? 3,600? What? I mean, I know I have double points, but that's actually, like, legit awesome. Oh, my God. I can feel my aim is off. I'm not, definitely not playing at my, like, normal level, normal heightened ability. I'd love to keep the dingo, man. This gun is crazy. Oh my god, it's so good. You know, I'd actually like it a lot if Deadshot was over there, because my aim is kind of bad, so Deadshot would be pretty helpful. Stamina up, obviously, is like the better choice. Yeah, stamina up is obviously the better choice, because being able to run around is way more helpful, but my aim isn't looking so hot tonight, so... Helpful as well. Come on, baby. A bottle of any auto, you know what I'm saying? That is definitely not helpful. Oh, we can't use this gun. So I'll put that away. We do have our trip mines though, so we can use the Oh shit, that's really bad. A dog, that's really, really bad. Come on, Meryl, where's the box spawning? Is that over here? I, I hope that's over here. Dog's on my ass. Okay, okay, we can do this. Oh, but something OP. Oh, me out! Okay, that was really, really rough. That's a terrible box spot, too. We can pack a bunch of this gun. It's kind of like not really needed because it's so strong already, but hey, screw it. We'll do it. Okay, we got to get this and go. Man, see how tough this map is, though, without the shield and running around? Because most people, when they play this, they just get on the catalog. But when you're actually moving around, it's actually pretty hard. Anywhere but here again? That's really, really nice. I don't really want to use the catwalk either. I actually kind of want to play without that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, okay. So my goal for this challenge is probably around 30, but depending on what we get, it might not be possible. Oh, whoa, oh my god. I was like, where are these guys? I can hear them. They're above me. Nice dog round. Not bad, not bad. challenge is really fun though it's actually pretty hectic i mean as you saw i was really close to death a couple of times though, trying to get that rpk last round can i kill
kill dogs with trip mines or not? No, I guess not. Come on, baby. Give me the one to one. Give me some big money. Not nah, Gagan. Not bad. Take her. Oh, nice. More money? So it's 1800 then, right? Oh, 1400 on that one. I wonder if we could just camp at Pack a Punch. I don't see why we couldn't. This gun's like a one shot, it's actually pretty strong. So, yeah, if we get monkey bombs, we're just gonna respin the box. That's gonna be the plan. So, we'll take the monkeys and then we'll try to get another weapon for the round. I think that'd be a better idea instead of just like using the same weapon that we already have. Alright, we're out of here. See ya. Oh, gotta reload. We do have to get back to the box, though. We gotta be, always be mindful of how close we are to the box so we don't end rounds. It's actually a really bad spot to be in right now. And this is why. Okay, come on. You can do it. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Man, they're just slapping the hell out of me right now, the structure. I mean, whatever. I'd say the Death Machine and the Gorgon are really about the same weapon at this point. They deal, like, basically unlimited damage. Come on, we gotta get back to the box! Ooh, this is gonna be rough. Really, really rough. I hope this barrier is still... Okay, it is, it is. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. The Draken? This is, like, literally the best gun in the game. Like, literally the best bullet weapon ever. Alright, nothing there, nothing there. No power up. Kinda wanna try camping here again. It's kind of a fun spot. It's not very good, but it's kind of fun. This gun reloads so fast. Look at this. Yeah, my friend and I, we call that caterpillaring. He made up the term when you shoot and then reload one shot. <laughs> Anyways, though. <laughs> the hell out of you, scrub. Baby. This is like the worst box spot ever though. This is, we gotta move this thing. Well, we gotta pack this up quick. Fire sale? That's like... Literally worthless and does nothing, but whatever. We're really spending a lot of points though, because we gotta do the teleporter, the box, and pack a punch basically. That is kind of a lot. We really gotta actually make sure that we have enough points for this. Two fire sales, nice. <laughs> the nice thought a double points or something like that. And let me. Oh, I wanna get out of here, but I can't. Run, go! They're not behind me right now. Oh, I think I hear him behind. Oh. Practically getting bullied by these guys. That's probably better than anywhere but here, honestly. Well, since we're almost done with the round, let's actually go right back to the box, because we might actually... Um, we might move it here. So, let's see if we can kill this guy. Okay, I guess there's more. Come on, baby. 
I'm feeling a teddy bear, but let's see. Haymaker? Not bad, not bad. So what we're gonna do is actually pack a bunch of this gun and get rid of it. So we don't even have another weapon. And there we go. Cause this gun should be just fine without pack a punch. Only has 78 rounds, but that's probably enough. Or shots, I guess. Not rounds or whatever. Pets, pellets. Whatever you call it. I don't know. Whatever the ammo is in this clown gun. It's kind of a rough area to be in. I actually don't want to use the trap right now because I actually need to save this money up. Oh god. Hold on. Hold on. Death machine? Use all the ammo in this first. Whoa, whoa, calm down, calm down. Oh my god. Let's keep going, let's keep going, let's keep going. I'm really under the impression that we're gonna get a teddy bear here. Where are we? Here. Watch this move, watch this, watch this, watch this. Surprise, motherfucker. Alright. Oh, that's right, it just gives you another weapon. I forgot about that. Alright, so we're on the Weevil then. So this is actually a really good gun to get because it's not really that great. So it's good we got it on the dog round. Angel closeness. I mean that might be helpful if we get. Oh, oh god. Okay. 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 That might be helpful if we get the XM53, but because that's the one thing I was trying to prepare for the XM53 and see if maybe we can get a gobble gun that'll make us immune to like explosive damage. It's also good with the ray gun, but let's see. The VMP? Let's not waste the money teleporting. Let's actually just go like this. Alright, come on. I'm gonna get out of this area. I'm gonna pop this trap too. There we go. Now we can't even use it if we wanted to. Might want to get out of this room. I don't know. Oh, no, I don't think we can. Oh my god! I think we're about done. I don't want that death machine. The VMP is actually not really that good, surprisingly. With double tap, I thought it'd be a little bit better, to be honest with you. Nice! Now we can wait. Oh, we'll kill this guy, why not? Looks like the box is over there. Oh my god, okay, okay. I may have screwed myself. Maybe I should have waited because I think we're going to get killed now. It's not there? Wait, it's in the shit corner? Oh my god. Oh wait, this is in the corner. No, this is a good spot actually. We're going to get a gun and get the hell out of here. <gasps> what the fuck? Oh god. Oh god, this is insane. This is literally fucking crazy. No, I'm not teleporting. I ain't running away. I ain't coward. No, don't run. 
Bro, this is crazy, dude. It's crazy, dog. Watch this. It would be a nice power up to grab, but screw it. I I'm going this way. I ain't scared of you clowns. I mean, my gun kind of already is an insta kill, but I mean, I'll take it. Like, I'll just risk my life to get a carpenter. Isn't that great? Uh, nice shot, dumbass. Part of me just wants to camp around the box because, like, I want to. I don't want to get too far away from it, obviously. Oh my god, this is just crazy. Oh my god. Oh my god, this map is actually nuts. People don't even understand how hard this map actually is. I actually almost out of ammo. Whew, that was rough, man. So hopefully we'll be able to pack a punch this next round if we need to. The Locust? Oh no. I mean, we don't really need to pack up on this gun because it's still one shot. It's just really bad. I don't even know what to do, bro. Like. Should I even try to hit this gobble? Armamental accomplishment? Well, that's pretty much worthless. Um, we're gonna hit this trap. I do need to remember to stay close to the box, though. I really keep forgetting I need to stay by it. This trap is super overpowered, though. Oh, my God. God. Here, going up here, going up here. How many zombies are on this round, man? God. Oh my god, that was crazy. Come on, bro, give me something usable. Yeah, well, all right, we'll take that. Pack you up. Don't even need to reload that. I will find another path. I will find a way to continue our journey. I'm starting to get very frightened now because of how hard this is getting, and these guns are not really the best. This is real this might be death here. No. No no no. No no no. <laughs> pop this trap. I do need to be weary, weary of my points though. Traps are actually not really that good in the long run because then I'm not going to be making points from all the kills. And I need to keep pack a punching these guns. But I needed to put that trap on. I mean, there's nothing I can do. That's a worthless ass power up. All that's doing is blocking my view. I can't even see. I'm just going to keep shooting for it. I don't care. I'm really scared about these steps. Steps are death sometimes. Come on, go, go, go. Uh, yeah, 
That's it. Damn, I wanted to go farther. Oh, well. That was really fun, though. I mean, it got to a point where I couldn't even really, like, play. I just had to concentrate. I couldn't even, like, talk. <laughs> that was a fun game, though. But seriously, though, try the giant out. I mean, it, it is a tough map. If you're not camping somewhere or on the catwalk, try running around in the giant. It's actually a super hard map. Like, no joke. Like, I ain't even screwing around. But I suppose that's really about it. I just wanted to make a fun video. I just felt like recording something. I first wanted to do All Guns Pack Apart so Shadows of Evil, but I don't think I'm going to have time for that. So, I just decided, like, box your light on the giant. Why not? It sounded like fun. So, yeah. Be sure to let me know what you thought of the video and if you want to see anything specific or anything like that, because I love the doer. I love the doer! I was trying to go for this challenge, too, in a way, but didn't quite work out well, that's all right so thanks so much for watching my video and that's it so i'll see you showing the nigs Glenn.